How do you get the image you want? That's the question for every AI image generator. Leonardo has a handy dandy tool to help you with that. I want to show it to you right now. So I have this stock image that I found here on the left and it's a cat laying on a bed under a blanket. Looks very happy, doesn't he? I brought that into Leonardo and asked it to describe and it came up with this description right here. So I just used this as my prompt to generate four images. And what I got was this fella and this fella, and this one, and this one. Now, of course, these are not identical copies of this image. Why would you want an identical copy of an image? If you've already got it, you've got it. But they do take the context of the image, the color, the style, and so much about it, and recreate other images that are very, very similar. I also tried with the Mona Lisa, brought that into Leonardo AI, asked it to describe for me, and we have this lovely lady. Now, Leonardo recognized this image right off as the Mona Lisa, and even put that in its description saying it's the classic portrait painting titled Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci and then it goes on to describe the details of the image. From that description it gave me this image and this one which it decided to mat and frame as well as this image and this one. Then I brought in this stock image of a house, asked Leonardo to describe it and this is what it said about it. I used that as a prompt I came up with these images and this first one is probably the most similar. Again, not identical, that's not the goal of this. It's similar though. And the second one with a whole lot of garaging going on and two front doors, you know, maybe that's not so good. But this was my first attempt. I just said describe it and when it gave me the description, I just went with it without making any changes whatsoever. The third variation, a whole lot of garage going on here on two different sides of the house. And then this one where it splits up and we have three different garages with walkways and doors in between them. I guess maybe this is some kind of a duplex or triplex or something, I don't know. Let's do it right now and see how this can really help us. Let's try this image that I think I used in a thumbnail recently. So inside Leonardo, we will click on this image generation button. When we're on our image generation page, we've got the prompt box up here and on the right side of it, we've got the AI stars. Click that and I will come down and say describe with AI. And now we have to feed it an image. So we're gonna drag that image in, it uploads and it takes it a few seconds to think. And now we have our description. And this image was created in DALI. So it's an AI image, but it didn't come out of Leonardo. So Leonardo is not gonna be able to just look back and see what the prompt was. It has to figure it out from the image. Let's say we want that to be a group of senior citizens standing there. I think I'll come in here right before it says the group is diverse and I'll add the people are all senior citizens aged 70 and above. All right, I'm not gonna fiddle with anything over here. We'll leave the preset on Leonardo Phoenix. I'm gonna have prompt enhance off for this. I don't think it will try and enhance a prompt that's this long, but I can't remember for sure. So I'm just gonna leave that off. I'll leave the style as dynamic, contrast as medium, uh, the generation mode I'm using quality, 16 by nine, small, and we'll get four generations. So let's hit the button and see what we get. And here we go. So we took what was described in this image, changed it to senior citizens, and sure enough, there we are. There's the next one. I think I like that one a little bit better. The third variation and the fourth. Let's take this really blue image of this lighthouse over into Leonardo in image creation. Gonna click the little diamond and say describe with AI. And I've already uploaded this image. So I'm just gonna click it right there from your uploads and say confirm. And now we need to look at the prompt and see what it's telling us. High resolution, long exposure, photograph of a lighthouse situated on a rocky outcrop, surrounded by a calm blue sea under a twilight sky. The image features a winding stone pathway leading to the lighthouse, which is illuminated at the top, casting a bright light. The sky is a deep blue with a few scattered clouds visible in the distance. The water appears smooth and misty due to the long exposure, creating a serene and tranquil atmosphere. The overall color palette is dominated by various shades of blue, enhancing the peaceful and calm mood of the scene. All right, let's generate that as it is. And here's what we've got. Very similar content and composition, not quite the blue of the original image. And remember, we're not trying to make the exact original image here. Describe function is describing everything it saw, and then we're using that to generate from. But unless we described every single individual detail, it's not gonna be identical, and we don't want identical. If we wanted the identical image, we've already got it. If we wanna make this image look more like this one, we could do some things in the prompt, like specifically telling it that we want this walkway to be blue stone or that we want it to have a blue color or something like that. And we could tell it that the lighthouse is gray or blue or whatever and sort of dial that in. I wanna try something a little bit different 
Instead of the sky being a deep blue, I'm gonna say a deep pink with a few scattered clouds, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm gonna change where we say it's dominated by shades of blue to dominated by shades of blue and red. And then we'll just take off this part about peaceful and calm, yada, yada. Generate from here. And here are our results. Oh, this one's nice. We've definitely got some pink sky in there. Ooh, that one's pretty too. The sky is really cool in this one. Our third option and our fourth. So how does this help you with prompting? To me, it's about getting this description of an image and then being able to change certain things to make your generated image what you want. Let's pull in another image of this ugly guy right here and have it describe me. So it says image is a portrait style photograph of a person with light skin and short platinum blonde hair that is styled to the side. They're wearing large clear frame glasses and a red shirt. Was it really a red shirt? Okay. The background is blurred, but appears to be an indoor setting with bright orange and blue colors, possibly an office or a workspace. The person has a neutral expression with a slight mustache and goatee. The lighting is even, highlighting the subject's facial features clearly. Now look, I'm gonna hit generate here and there's no way it's gonna generate an image of me because every face is intricate and different and so many different details. What I expected to create is something like that image. To have all the same basic elements, here are the images it generated from that description. It's kind of creepy. These images are not me. But if you're looking for an image that kind of looks like this, which you may need if you have a rodent problem that you're trying to get rid of. Leonardo figures out what's in there, creates a description, and then use that description as a prompt to generate a very similar image. And where do the changes come in? Well, let's change that red shirt to a black shirt. And let's change those glasses from large clear frame to small clear framed. And by golly there, it looks like those glasses got a little smaller and our character has a black shirt instead of a red shirt. If you haven't tried out Leonardo yet, there's a link in the description. I am an affiliate, which means if you end up going with a paid subscription, I may receive a small commission at no additional cost to you. Now, I sincerely appreciate anyone that purchases through my affiliate links. Thank you so much. But by all means, if you haven't used Leonardo yet, try out the free plan. You get 150 free tokens that reset every single day. So 150 every day. Play around with it. Try it on. See if it fits. See if you like it. And go from there. And the free version might be all you need. I hope you found this helpful. This is just one of many cool features in Leonardo AI, which is by far my favorite image generator. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.